Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen the basics of Oracle integration decision model, wherein uh, we had gone through over uh, why the decision models are used and what is the field language and what are the data types available. Today, we are going to learn how to create a decision model. Expand this create decision model. Under this, we have to go for create a decision model from scratch and we are not using any of the samples available in the instance. Click on this create button. Click on this create a decision model as we are creating the decision model from scratch give the name and giving as a grid checker if you have a space created to uh, add the decision model to a particular space then we can assign that over here i'm keeping this as default I open immediately going to i'm going to create a decision model to check the grade of a student studying in a particular class and a section if you are comfortable creating the decision models with the help of graphical view you can uh, go ahead with this if not you can go to open menu and click this list more so that we can work uh, with the list option now uh, in order to begin with creating our grade checker decision model we have to define our input so click on this plus and give the input type definition and from the mode we have to check this click this complex click on the plus button and give as name and the first parameter in our input will be name second will be class uh, if you want to change the mode you can select accordingly click on close click on again add and put the section and close uh, once we are done with creating our input type definition what we have to do is we have to create an input with uh, which is of this type definition click on the plus button and give the name as input select the mode as com other type and select our input type which is created over here click on close we are done with our input data creation click on this plus button uh, on the right side that is add new decision uh, here uh, we will check each and every decision uh, type over here in our uh, consequent videos first of all i am going to uh, explain about decision table in this video uh, give the name as grid check uh, if you have any question description i will answer you can give it over here and output type if any we can constraints or uh, definition we can mention i am keeping this default click on create expand this arrow button and minimize if there are any errors uh, uh, we will come to know from here as of now i'm minimizing this and click on this enter expression here write input our first parameter for decision is input click on this uh, add column after and the second parameter for our decision is class here we have to select the class and and the next one in our decision is input section select the section grade check and i'm going to add one more parameter giving it as a pass if the student is passed or not I click on this entered allowed values over here and we can change the type uh, from default to true or false i'm giving this as a uh, flag kind of thing where we uh, user will have only two options to give like true or false while making a decision so let me add the details of the students first student in our list is raj is from class first standard and section is a first standard a section so grade for what grade he, he has got i'm putting it as a grade king him as pass let me add one more student after this let me name it as abid he's from class 2 second standard b section and he has also secured a grade and uh, pass and he has also passed the exams click on this plus button and check if any uh, uh, errors are there missing rules it's uh, with the oracle integration cloud engine uh, which is trying to notify the user you have put the raj uh, and uh, you have missed to add uh, that under class 2 i know as we don't have raj in class 2 we are not going to add details completely is driven by the business need and the requirements we can ignore these warnings if any error we have to resolve them and uh, then only uh, we will be able to activate and uh, create the snapshots now if we want to test this uh, uh, decision model create a click on this arrow button or the play button here enter the values name as raj section class a now click on this start test as you can see uh, he has secured a grade and passes he has passed the exams now let me check uh, if any student with abid is there in first standard click on this test no no rules match instead of this default error message we can have a, a good message like saying like a, a, a particular student not found we will check this in our uh, next videos how we can do that now go back let me change this to second standard click on start test no that student is not found 
Now check in the B section if any student is there with Abid. Yeah, we have found that student and he has secured A and he has passed the exams. This is how we can uh, build a decision table with the help of a decision model in OIC. This is a very simple and the basic kind of uh, uh, decision uh, rule that we have built. Uh, there, are, there can be a complex thing uh, wherein uh, this decision tables input might come uh, from based on the condi conditions wherein we will uh, write the expressions in field language uh, we can build our uh, uh, expressions uh, and uh, this expression uh, will be our source to this decision table as well uh, we can have a function kind of thing uh, like a custom function which will accept the parameters and return the uh, uh, value if uh, we don't find any function available in this uh, field language as per our need we can build uh, uh, custom function uh, we can have a context uh, uh, this is kind of a key value pair uh, this we can have a uh, list view a loop relations all this we will see in our uh, consequent videos in our next video we will see how we can expose this decision model over uh, uh, as a service and uh, how we can consume this from uh, uh, tools like postman or uh, or oracle integration cloud integrations or uh, any other applications